Is floor prep needed underneath your hybrid flooring? Well, that's a big open-ended question because there's a multitude of subfloors that you could stall across, whether it be tiles, timber, or concrete. Let's start at concrete. So concrete, well, no, no floor prep is needed traditionally for your hybrid flooring, and this is why it makes it such an enticing offer. You don't need to do all the grinding, you don't need to do the skimming, you don't need to do the flood coats that is attached to vinyl planks. You can fundamentally lay straight over top of your concrete subfloor. Um, there is a little, you know, precautions put in place. If you have a hole in your floor or you have a giant crack in your concrete, you might want to tidy that up. But as a general rule, there's no floor prep needed on your concrete subfloor for your hybrid flooring, making it very, very simple. If we talk about timber, the beauty about that is, is it doesn't need a masonite subfloor and it doesn't need additional support to that timber subfloor. It can float directly on top it helps reduce noise as well, so it's, it's a really, really good option on your yellow tongue or your, or your timber type subfloors. And the third one is tiles. This is a big, big question, okay? So I personally had meter by meter, no, sorry, 500 by 500 highly polished porcelain down first, and I laid my uh, APC flooring. So this was Luxfield Air down on top of those tiles, and it could float perfectly across the top of them. It contours to the shape of the subfloor because the subfloor wasn't perfect. The only downside that we do need to think about is where four tiles meet, sometimes a tile sitting up proud, is where it sits and drops over that little bit. There's a little bit of a flex point there, but that was far better. Um, having that little bit of flex underfoot was, was doable than having to prepare those tiles by grinding the tiles, taking the high points off, and then putting leveling compound down. So I opted in for no grinding, no leveling, saving on time and money uh, and hassle, and it delivered me a pretty much perfect result, but that was only under the assumption it was the most newest generation of hybrid, which is your next generation hybrids, which is Candine Corlock, um, the Belize, or the Luxfield Air. The old hybrids, mind you, no good. So the SPC or the WPC iterations, too brittle, too rigid, never install them over top of tiles unless you remove them, or you completely put a flood coat leveling compound down. Hope that explains all the different iterations uh, needed for floor preparation underneath your hybrid flooring.